Welcome, in this video I'm going to be taking a look at this Nakus ADX magnifying desk clamp with clamp or base. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost anything extra. Let's get this open. So here we have the instruction manual, here are the specs, it has a glass magnifying lens, it's 4.3 inches, brightness, it has 10 levels, up to 1500 lumens, the clamp opens up to 2.7 inches, the voltage rating is 5 volts at 2 amps, the swing arm is 2 by 8.9 inches, the base dimension is 9 inches. And here are the controls, you press power to turn it on or off, it has a plus or minus to turn the brightness up or down, it'll have 10 levels, and then between those it has the color temperature button, so you can press that and it will have 3 different color temperatures, so you'll have 30 different combinations you can use. So this has two options for mounting, it has a clamp and a base. So you could mount this clamp to a desk, and then if you want you could loosen this up, take the magnifier out, and take it into the base in a different area. So if you like to have this on your desk, but every once in a while you like to take it into your workshop or vice versa, you can have the clamp and the base in two different areas and then move it back and forth pretty easily. So let's get this out of here. Comes with the cleaning lens, here's the clamp. So this has rubber on the clamp, has it on the top and the back. Now this clamp can be clamped to a surface that's horizontal or vertical. So if you have a bench or a desk that has kind of a backsplash kind of a thing, you can clamp to that. And then you move this here to here. So you'd unscrew this and screw it in there. And here's the magnifier. This has a USB adapter to power it. I'll pull the plastic off. So this cord is around four feet. Now I'll pull the foam out and here we have the base. You can see this thing is pretty large and it has some heft to it. So the bottom of the base has a foam padding on it to protect your surface. We can take the magnifier, we'll loosen this up, and this will slide right in here. Like so. And then like I said, you could loosen this up and then put that in here. So I'll mostly focus on the base, but it's pretty straightforward to understand how the clamp would work. So I'll plug this in, I'll loosen this and I can rotate it here. So this has a number of ways you can adjust it. We'll loosen this up and this will rotate. So we can see it has a ring light here with the magnifier in the center. So I'll kind of center that and then I can lift this up. Now it has some clamps here you can tighten if you need to. And then you can move this forward. So if I move this all the way forward, I can get to a point where this is a little bit tippy. So that's where the clamp could come in handy, is if you do need a really long reach on this, you can use that clamp, which will actually clamp it to the surface. But let's actually move this down a little bit, so that's gonna lower the center of gravity. So if you want that really close to your surface, and that's pretty stable. And you do see that the base is here in line with the magnifier. If we had this off to the side and you extended it, it could get a little tippy that way too. So let's go on the controls here, let's turn this on. Turn off my camera light, let's rotate this a little bit. So here we can rotate through the color temperatures, it can be difficult to convey this on the camera, but you can see I'm cycling through them. It has the cooler, the warmer, and the white. I tend to like the white. And then we have the dimness levels. I'll turn those down and up. So this is a magnifier light, but this also can just be used as a lamp. You don't have to use the magnifier. So if you have this on your desk and you want a reading light, you can use this as a reading light. You could probably even put it up a little higher. And then when you need to magnify something, you can bring it down and magnify with it. So let's see if I can get this set up to magnify. This can be a little tricky to show on camera sometimes. Let's see if I can get a good range here. Okay, so I have a circuit board here. I have it under the magnifier. Now I'm zoomed out here. I'm going to zoom the camera in because that simulates more like what I'm seeing from my eyes right now. So this is pretty representative of what I'm seeing. I mean, it's not perfect, but it gives you a good idea of what I'm seeing in here. So if I move this out of the way, you can see this is the actual size, and this is the magnified size. So what you want to do is you'll want to move the magnifier up and down until it's just perfect and focused in for you. So I could actually magnify this a little more by bringing it up, but I wanted to be able to capture it with my eyes and the camera. So I can look on here, I can see this says, you know, R7.5. I can see the different resistor sizes on this circuit board. So I could have this here and I could solder on this. You could also use this for like knitting, drawing. I mean, there are many things for this. You could just use it for general reading. There are lots of things you can use this for. So that's the Nakus 8X magnifying light with clamper stand. 
I really like the versatility of this light. It has a really nice big magnifier on it and a really bright light. And since it has that clamper stand, you have it hands-free. So if you're used to using a handheld magnifier light, I think this is a really nice upgrade, especially for really fine detail work. You can set your thing down, position this where you want it, get it perfect, and just leave it there. Whereas if you're handheld, when you move it back and forth, it can be really hard to see. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.